Resolution number 170095. Resolution authorizing the City Council's Committee on the Environment to hold public hearings to investigate the current and future state of Philadelphia's environment. So, as I noted, the empathy index is um, something that we're taking off this spring. Uh, the first focus is that we're going to be addressing the, the disparity in heat in Philadelphia's neighborhoods. Um, if you have the report in front of you and want to flip to page 19, you'll see a map of a heat map of Philadelphia. And it shows you hot neighborhoods that are in red and cooler neighborhoods that are in blue. The difference between those neighborhoods can be as much as 22 degrees. And that is something I think that we found astounding. Um, most of those red neighborhoods, those hot neighborhoods, are majority African American or Latino neighborhoods. So we want to focus on the, uh, the disparities that, again, help, have helped to create this, this situation where we have neighborhoods that have such uh, varying degrees. Except this building of guys point view. And they're building it in a community that is one of the, has one of the highest emergency room visits on asthma. Now there are a number of issues that some of my colleagues will talk about when it comes to this plant. There is a very strong connection between these plants, the burning of this gas, and the fracking of this wind. Um, I personally do not see what is going on as being a transition to solar. I see it as making a long-term commitment to natural gas use in SEPTA in terms of the plans that are being made. And that's all information I can provide for you. But my primary concern is this. We have a community that is already impacted um, and has a high level of asthma. Except it has a bus bar down there that is a contribution to that problem. And as they're building the plant, one of the things that really stuck in my craw was this thought, well, it has a minuscule amount of addition to the problem, so we don't need to worry about it. Matt made the point when he spoke about um, our grade relative to dealing with air pollution issues. SEPTA feels that because EPA has said they met the standards, they don't need to worry about the health standards. EPA standards are not designed to protect health. They are designed to work with industry to determine what they can afford to do, which does not necessarily take care of us. If our, if some as a public agency has decided that it is not their responsibility to watch out for the community, to do that health study, to determine what it is that they need to do to take care of us, a public agency, what hope do we have for any industry coming in this town? Talking about building an industry that's going to create a problem. Tomorrow, the Senate Board is going to vote on this subject. And I suspect they're going to vote for it. The mayor has the ability to veto that. And I think that we need to let them to know that before they decide to do something that's going to affect our community, they have a responsibility to look at the impacts they have on the health yes. and to do something about yes. it. Yes. I'm also speaking as a steering committee member of Green Justice Philly a diverse and growing Philadelphia-based coalition committed to building a healthy, sustainable, and economically just Philadelphia region. We work together to oppose the dirty fossil fuel industry that puts our neighborhoods at risk every day and makes our citizens sick and cannot contribute to our long-term prosperity. And furthering a healthy environment for our citizens. Now more than ever, I'll repeat that, now more than ever, we must continue to work together to protect and develop stronger initiatives that indeed will contribute to a healthier, safer, and more sustainable environment. Very different, different issues and concerns. I'm finding, I'm so, finding many, so many different mentalities. Different mentality it, it, it seems hard. It seems it seems challenging. I don't say hard because the only thing hard is the concrete that we walk on. Everything else is a challenge. Is a challenge. Um, so so I'm ready. I'm ready for this challenge. And I was built. And I was built for this. I think that I think we all have we all have a purpose in life. And mine and mine is going to take on a task that most that most of back away from back away from that impossible. So people say it's impossible. I see possibilities. I don't see I don't see anything as being impossible.
mentality, mentality, there are there are different mentalities, but just like just like there's different ways to teach people how to read, there's different ways to, different ways to communicate people. It's different. It's different ways to communicate people and their different mentalities. So I so I do see hope. I see hope and that's all coming together and understanding each other and learning to respect 